Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie and I create home and lifestyle videos here on my channel. It's been a little quick minute here. It's been a couple weeks since I've had a video up um, and that is because as I explained in my last video, I had been sick and lost my voice and then my husband and I actually went to Europe for a couple of weeks. So I'm home now, home from the travels and feels great to be home and it felt like the perfect time to do an updated house tour for y'all. So. For those of y'all who are new here, my husband and I bought our first home back in 2020, or we moved in in 2020 um, in May. And so it's been two years and we have just been working those last two years into making this house a home. And I thought I'd update y'all on kind of the things that we've changed in the last two years, not only decor wise, because y'all have seen a lot of that, but really taking you through room to room and seeing what we changed structurally about the space. So unfortunately I can't do this video kind of walkthrough style like I did my empty house tour video two years ago, which I will link below by the way, because it's kind of cool to see the before and after. Um, but I'm gonna kind of do it with my tripod and show you each room and kind of point out the things that we did change structurally. So so this is something I've been wanting to do for a while now and today just felt like the right time um, because I am so happy to be home and I just vacuumed the house. So if you know, you know. Um, I would say we, I decorate in a very, um, kind of modern farmhouse, um, but I like a lot of like vintage things, but I live in a new construction. So this house, this was our first home. We went from an apartment to this house, which is four bedroom, two and a half bath. That is like 2,900 square feet. So it was a big jump from our one bedroom apartment. Um, so it was a lot of space to fill. And so I do a lot of thrifting and DIY and flips. And that's kind of the theme of my videos, which you would know if you watched any of them or have been around for a while. Um, but I would say that's kind of the theme in my house is kind of like a modern, kind of modern farmhouse. I know people don't like the word farmhouse anymore, but um, that's kind of the style that I would say. I like rustic. Um, I like contrast and I try to keep things, I really like like French country personally, but I try to keep things um, equal parts like feminine and masculine to obviously, cause this is my husband's house as well. So I would say we kind of go towards like a modern rustic farmhouse, um, maybe a little bit of European country kind of thing. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start in the dining room, which is where we are now. So this is the first room of the house. And structurally, the only things I really changed was I hung curtain rods um, and we changed this light fixture. So we got a light fixture from Ikea and that was a change that we made. If you saw the empty house tour, I mentioned how much I hated the builder grade light fixtures. So that was a must do and that was a pretty affordable solution to really change up the look of the room. Other than that, structurally, we didn't do anything. So this room is just decor wise, um, which I did a dining room tour before and so you can see that video if you want like more details on where everything is from um, but the main centerpiece of this room is this beautiful table which was a DIY flip that I got off of Facebook marketplace um, and so I love this table I always say this is my favorite DIY project I've ever done and this table we don't host a lot of formal gatherings or at least we haven't in the last couple years um, but I like to sit here it's, we get a lot of light from the front uh, windows. So I like to sit here sometimes and read or, you know, drink my coffee. I also use this as like a craft space. So when I want to paint something or make something out of clay um, or when I want to sew because I can sew and I have a sewing machine, I'll put my sewing machine here and I use the big table because if you've ever sewn that you know, you know that you have to work with fabric and cutting and the patterns and things. So it's nice to have a big um, surface to work on. So I will use this table for that. So it does get used even though it is also decorative and pretty in my opinion. Um, I also use my hutch that I have for storage and for decor um, in this room as well. And the buffet table behind me I also use for storage. That's where I keep a lot of my sewing things and also I just like the way it looks. So we, like I said, we haven't hosted a lot of formal events, but I, we have hosted things here and we do use this table for seating or for like a buffet line table if we have like a bigger gathering. So um, that is the dining room in a nutshell. Something you might wonder is the um, shiplap wall. That is something that we had the builder put in, we upgraded um, and had them do that before we even moved in. So that is not a DIY. Most of the things uh, in our house that are a little bit more, have a little bit more character um, were DIY since this was a builder grade home, but that we did pay for them to do. So that 
we love and then other than that it's just a lot of decor that I have mentioned in that um that video so I won't spend too much time on that I will say I'm not sure if you can see in this clip but I'll I'll insert a clip the butler's pantry that we have off of the dining room um was actually we didn't really know what to use that space for it's kind of a small room that they call a butler's pantry and so you know I guess it's supposed to be used for storing like maybe canned goods and appliances and things like that, um, linens and things if you host a lot. But for us, we ended up using it for our Peloton bike. So we got a Peloton and we do have a garage gym, which I might show you all in this video, um, but we obviously didn't want to put a Peloton in the garage and nobody wants to spin in the summer in Georgia in 90 degree heat outside. So that room actually fits the bike perfectly. I open the door when I spin you know, so I'm not so confined, um, but it's a great kind of to tuck that piece away so it doesn't end up being, you know, an eyesore in our bedroom or one of our other main rooms. So it actually works out perfectly. So that was one thing also that we changed about this space or just a way that we utilized it um, in a way that was more functional for us. Okay, so off of the dining room, I guess it's, it is the first room when you come in and then we have the dining room. Um, we have our foyer space, which I recently like renovated. Um, and there is a video on that if you'd like to watch it, but I explain where all the pieces are from. Um, but the main thing we changed about this space is we did again, change the light fixture up top. So I always think that makes a big difference. If you live in a builder grade home, most of the time the builder grade light fixtures are not um, maybe the most like trendy or just like the most, you know, stylish. So we did trade out this light fixture for one from Amazon, which I think was only like $30. It's very affordable. And luckily my husband has gotten very good at changing light fixtures because we've done quite a few. So um, he learned from YouTube how to do that. And I just let him do that part. I do not mess with electrical myself. I will mess with pretty much everything else, just not electrical. Um, so this space really the main, um, concern that I had was really filling this space because it is a long wall and it's a lot of white. So it's just a big open white space. It feels very large because of the white paint. Um, and so I did fill it with a gallery wall and a table that we custom made for this space to be the correct size that I wanted. So this table, again, like I said, we built it and then underneath it, I have some leather ottomans that I really like to have right here because as I mentioned, I like to sometimes read on the chair in the dining room and I can just pull one of those ottomans over and put my feet on it while I'm reading if I wanna sit in this front room instead of in the living room. So um, we currently have pictures of us through different milestones in our relationship, but we are gonna be switching out the photos in those frames for photos from our travels that we just went on. That was one thing we really wanted to do. So I made sure I took a lot of pictures um, so hopefully y'all will see those change out and get to see some photos um, from our trip. So that is the foyer. That's pretty much the only thing structurally that we changed was the light fixture. And then it was just about decor. Um, I do a lot of DIY uh, decor. Like I, I painted the lamp and the bath hole right here, which is like the drop zone for keys and whatnot when people come over um, and mail or whatever is easy to drop in there. So that is kind of my little station set up for the foyer. And if you again have questions about any of the items or where they're from, um, feel free to watch my foyer DIY renovation video that I did on my foyer and entryway. So we're going to go ahead now that we've kind of seen the front of the house and we're going to move into the main living area. Okay, moving on from the dining room and foyer, we do just have a couple of like small walls and then our bathroom and coat closet. So I just have some framed art prints from Etsy here. Um, and then this basket from Hobby Lobby here. Um, I do have this basket on the door that I actually wanna move to a different door, but that was from Goodwill. And then I'll show you the bathroom kind of handheld like this. So this is hopefully my next project. Um, I haven't done anything for, to this bathroom really, except for hanging this little print. And I put some things in that little basket. And then of course we have like our trash can and whatnot. Um, this is a, I did replace this mirror. Um, when we very first moved in, I got a good deal on it at Hobby Lobby. So I replaced that and then like I haven't touched anything else, but I would really like to replace the pedestal sink just for storage. Um, and I would also like to do possibly a board and batten like halfway or a beadboard wall with green was what I wanted to do. Um, and then I did kind of buy this little rug. So I have some ideas for this space. It's just not been something that I've gotten to yet. 
um, but it's next on the list. I just don't know when it will be because we just did our big patio um, little renovation. So anyways, and then this is the coat closet, which is full of coats and my sewing machine and then like shoes. So good little coat closet. I also have thought about doing something in here for decor, but I don't want to really crowd it right now. So that is that space. And then across from here is my other entryway, which y'all have seen if you saw my foyer renovation video. So I did my wallpaper, that was a big change. And then this board and batten wall that I did myself, um, it is painted in iron ore by Sherwin-Williams. Um, and this is just kind of, yeah, where we leave our shoes and then I leave my work bag up here in whatever purse I'm using. And um, yeah, so that was kind of the, the big change in the foyer that we did is we, I painted and did the board and batten and the hooks and everything. Um, and that kind of makes, I think, a big difference in the room with making it look a lot more custom and, and unique. So moving on to the kitchen. Okay, so honestly, I hope y'all can hear me well enough in this clip because my dishwasher is running. Um, that's the thing about when you go out of town, you come home and there's lots of things to do. So. Um, the dishwasher is running. I'm so sorry if you can hear it. And then I do have dishes in the sink because they need to go in the dishwasher um, after the dishwasher is done running. But anyways, our kitchen. Honestly, our kitchen looks a lot like it did um, structurally when we first moved in. So we had chosen kind of like white and gray granite countertops to try to be really classic um, and really neutral. We chose white cabinets because I have always wanted a white kitchen and I stand by that decision and we'll probably never not have white cabinets. Um, I know the trends are kind of going away from that, but that's what I like about white cabinets is that they're not trendy, they're classic. So I love our white cabinets. And then we did upgrade when we were building to the poles instead of the knobs in the um, for the hardware in the kitchen and that was just something that my husband wanted and I did not really have a preference for so Those that's all been here since we moved in um, the light fixtures above our bar area like our um, island Those were original to the house that we actually liked we thought they were fine So we didn't change those unlike every every other light fixture in the house um, So that's all the same the sink is the same we like this sink faucet. I don't feel the need to change out everything to be black or gold or whatever. I don't mind the nickel or silver. Um, so structurally, everything's the same. So the only thing I changed in the kitchen was decor, of course. And then I also hung shelves by the door. I did a video um, actually with Home Depot installing these shelves, which is way back on my uh, YouTube channel. But you can see how I installed them and then how I decorated them. And they mostly just serve as a little decor piece. They're kind of, um, I feel like open shelving really adds some charm and that kind of Southern collected look. Um, so I like to have those even though my cabinets are not open. Um, someday I would like to have maybe a cabinet or two that's got like a glass pane door, but for the most part, I'm fine with closed cabinetry because it is a lot neater in my opinion. So I have my little decor piece to kind of add that like charm and coziness and then the rest of the kitchen um, is closed off so that you can't see all my dishes and things like that. So that is the kitchen. Um, we love this kitchen. It serves us very well for now. We are a family of two. It's just my husband and I here. So um, it's plenty big enough when we have people over. Um, we do have just the two bar stools. We could have three, but we only bought two because we got them on Facebook. Um, so we really love this kitchen and it does go out to our new patio, which I'll show y'all even though you've seen if you've seen my newest video um, And it is kind of facing the rest of the house. So this is an open concept house um, Which you'll remember if you saw the empty house tour and our kitchen goes right into our dining area like breakfast nook area Which goes straight into the living room. So I will kind of show y'all that view um, but we like, I like the way it's set up. I can be doing dishes and watching TV at the same time. Um, if people are over and they're sitting at the table or in the living room or on the patio now, I can kind of look out and kind of feel like I'm still part of the group. So um, we love this, this kitchen. And now I'll show y'all the little dining nook. Okay, so behind me is our little dining nook, if you will. So there was a light fixture here. Um, which indicates that this is where like the kitchen table should go. Um, we did change out that light fixture. Actually, let me turn it off. It's super. Change out this light fixture. It was a like awful silver light fixture that I hated um, with one from Ikea that was I think like $30. So 
we changed that one out. It's a lot more modern, um, and I just like the look of it. I thought it went really well with the ones that were hanging above the island right here. So this area just is our kitchen table area. This is where we eat most nights, because like I said, the dining room, um, we don't really eat our meals in there because it's so big and it's kind of farther away from the kitchen. So this is where we eat most of our meals. Um, I've mentioned several times this little kitchen table, a flip that we did. This was Josh's, my husband's mom's table that we painted and recovered the seats of to make it a little bit more um, modern. It was like a dark rattan with like red checkered seats. So it definitely fits our style a lot more now. Um, it's not my favorite. The glass top is not my favorite in general with the table because it gets so messy all the time. But for now, we don't need another kitchen table because we have this one. So I, I do like it. I think it's got a little bit of that like Southern country charm. So it works in our space um, and it's very neutral. So this is kind of the main little area for eating our meals. Um, and I have some fresh hydrangeas on the table that my mom brought over last night. So thank you, mom, if you're watching this, which I know you probably are. So um, right off of the dining area, we have our living room, which is like the main living area. Um, and so I'll show you all that and then I'll take you outside and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, so before we get to the living room, I do want to mention this little area um, between our windows that kind of separate the dining nook and the living room. Um, we do have our little bar cart. This was like an antique tea cart. We use it as our bar cart. Um, and this lovely mirror that I love. This was from Shea McGee's like first release with Target. So that is kind of that, how I decorated this little tiny wall. Um, it also would have been great for like a hutch or something here, but I like kind of the, the little bar cart idea. Okay, so at this point, y'all have seen this living room so many times because I decorate it for pretty much every season. So anytime there's like a seasonal decorating video, this space is shown. So um, the only thing I want to mention again is like structural changes just because the decor you can see in other videos and like the furniture and everything I explain in basically every other home tour or like seasonal home tour that I've done. Um, so for this space, again, the major structural changes were I added curtains and then the fan, we switched out to a prettier fan in my opinion. Um, we did take the fan that was down here that was builder grade and put it up in our guest room so that our guests would have a fan in their room because it didn't come with one. Um, and that room I haven't really done like a full remodel on. So that's up there for now. Eventually I'll probably change it out because I don't like that fan. But um, for now it works up there because that room doesn't get used super frequently. Um, but this fan we really like, it's very like modern farmhouse, a little industrial, a little rustic. Um, so we really like it and it is controlled with a fan or with our Google Home stuff. So. Um, we did change that out and then we also did our fireplace. I've talked about this in a, I think in my recent like favorite DIY video. Our fireplace is electric and it was just kind of in the wall with like nothing around it. So we did do a faux brick panel around it with, I don't remember the name, oh, joint compound, that's what it was. We used joint compound and did like the German schmear technique on the panel board. Um, and then my husband built a mantle for us for in here. So that was all very different. And of course we hung the TV. So that changed a lot of things than it looked like in the empty house tour, if you watch that. Um, the built-in cabinets underneath, we had the builder do. So we paid for those to be done, um, but we did not pay for any shelving to be installed. So the shelves in our living room, we did install those ourselves. So those were all um, DIY projects and it's made it a lot of fun for me to decorate during the like seasonal time i really like to decorate the shelves and the mantle so um yeah that is our living room again y'all have seen it many times so real quick just to show you all the patio i literally have just filmed a video on it um but this is the patio off of the kitchen um this video literally it's the last one that i released so go ahead and look at it for all the details about all the furniture where everything's from um and then we have our little outside slab as well that's uncovered but this is the screened in fenced in patio that we love i was out here reading earlier which is why that table is pulled out instead of where it's supposed to be um so i'm reading for book club and we love it out here we spend a lot of time out here since we have done that so for more details on that go ahead and watch my last video okay now we are going up the stairs 
And I won't show y'all the full upstairs just because um, you probably don't want to see it <laughs> because some of it's not done. So we'll do these rooms pretty quickly. So this first room, this is what I call the babe cave. And I did not spruce it up for y'all. So sorry about that. But this is what it looks like on most days. It's just got my stuff everywhere. Um, and this is where I get ready in the mornings. This is the computer I use if I have to do work at home. Um, I hang my purses there. I get ready here. I check my outfit in this mirror and that drawer needs to be pushed in. This is real life. Sorry about it. Um, but this is a small room. This desk, this was like my childhood desk. Um, and then over here I have, I literally have the curtain draped over the bed so that the Roomba doesn't get it. That's like, that is real life for y'all. Um, and then this little day bed, which is messy because I was laying on it. So I have this little day bed in here and I use this space for like laying out outfits sometimes or sitting on and watching like videos on my computer or reading just if I want to be somewhere um, that's not like outside or in the living room, I will come sit over here. And this is just kind of my space to like retreat to. So, um, and then I just have like my little nightstand there with some lipsticks and this room is intended, you know, it will be eventually a nursery when we have kiddos. So for now it's just the babe cave and it's just like my holding space. Um, it's just my area to be by myself. So this room, honestly, it could use a makeover, but I hesitate to do one um, because I don't know exactly when we'll have kids and I don't want to do a makeover and then have to transform it into a nursery like right after, you know? So um, anyways, that is the babe cave um, and kind of why it has not been redone yet. So, or it might never be, I don't know. Um, then we go into our master and y'all have seen this. I just did a video on this um, with some decor for spring and this is what it looks like, you know, on most days. Um, pretty simple. The bed is messily made and um, we didn't change anything about this room at all. So the only thing we changed was we added curtains, um, but it does have a really nice tray ceiling. So we added curtains and blinds. We did do blinds on our whole upstairs. Um, and then we just have our little TV and all that kind of stuff. Details on this room, which, haha, ha, my little travel pillow there. I have not put it away yet from our trip. Um, but if you want details on this room, go watch my Spring Decorate With Me Part 3, I believe, which was all about the master bedroom. And I talk about where everything in this room is from. And nothing has changed since that video. So feel free to watch that one. In our bathroom, this is our master bathroom. Um, the only thing I changed was there's literally a bleach stain on my towel. So this is a very professional, but the only thing I changed was we did do the mirrors ourselves. When we bought the house, we requested they not do a builder grade mirror. Um, hey, vegans. And we did our own mirrors. Um, everything else, this was all builder grade. Um, the bath, this was all builder grade. Um, I did add these little shelves with some decor. We did buy the um, plantation shutters and then <laughs> they're flipped right now. I don't know why. Um, and then I did this like peel and stick tile as a little accent wall above the bathtub. So that is the bathroom. Pretty standard builder grade bathroom shower that, you know, I don't love. And then the toilet room here. Um, and then my closet is here, which should I show y'all? Let's see. I'm not sure what's what to expect sometimes. I think it's okay right now. Yeah, so here is my closet. It's rather big. Um, we don't need to dwell on it, but this is the closet. It's kind of messy, but... Um, and then my husband's closet, I won't show y'all because that's his space. But we are going to walk through his closet. I'll point towards the ground. And then get into the laundry room. So the laundry room... The laundry room was a space that I did do a lot too. Um, I did this little painted accent wall with the shelves because I ripped out the shelves, the one shelf that was here actually, um, and I decorated it. And then my husband built me this lovely shelf over our washer dryer so that we could fold clothes. Um, all of this, except for the counter, I don't think was done yet, but all of this is in a video that I did on laundry room makeover. Um, and then over here, I have like my little caddy with our... Um, all of the cleaning stuff and then 
the laundry um, hampers and where I hang the clothes to dry since I pulled off the rack that was over here. So that is the laundry room. And then we have our guest bathroom, which we don't use really because we haven't had a lot of guests recently. But, um, so I haven't really done anything to this room. I eventually would like to do like a little makeover for it. Um, but for now we just got, I did the, the mirrors again. Like I said, we didn't have them hang anything. And um, I got those from Target. And then, oh, I forgot, I washed my duvet cover. <laughs> and it's over the top. I need to fold that and put it away. Um, so it's pretty standard in here. Just, a, I hung the shelf, pretty basic, basic white um, shower curtain that you can't really see because my duvet cover, I'm so glad I opened this door. This is what happens when you um, don't use a room very much. I need to have a friend over or something, I guess. So, um, and then the back side of the door, I have just a little sign and then some towels hanging. So that is the guest bathroom. We use like our little um, like rugs and things from college and whatever we had left over. We have really not touched that room in the last couple years. Um, over here is the man cave, which I will not show you because um, it's a disaster. So I'm gonna just let that be my husband's private room, but he does have his own room just like I have the babe cave. So um, that is because this is a four bedroom house and we do not have kids yet. So those rooms, the babe cave and the man cave will become kids rooms eventually. Um, and then this is the guest room. So I have shown y'all this one other time, but this is the guest room. So this is where people stay if they come visit us. Um, and this is where, like I said, we did install this fan from downstairs. It's builder grade, so obviously I don't love it, but um, we did put that in here so that people would have a fan. And then I obviously hung curtains and blinds. Um, I hung a shelf and some things for decor, which I do explain in my guest bedroom tour. Um, this room is heavily, heavily thrifted and DIY'd. So check out that video if you're wondering about like where I got these little nightstands and all that kind of thing. Um, everything in this room was really found like secondhand and I love it. So eventually when we no longer have our other spaces to ourselves, like the babe cave and the man cave, um, I would like to, hello, I'd like to make this room like a dual purpose office slash guest room by maybe doing like a corner desk here or like a little desk against the window. Um, this room does have like a really nice size closet, which right now is just storing a mirror. And then I have some books in this shelf and some extra pillows and things. Um, but this closet even has like a uh, window. So I could even put a desk in here or something and then close it off. And when guests come, just close it off to them, I guess, and let them keep their luggage just in the room. But Anyways, so that is the guest room. I guess I should close this. Okay, so that is an almost full house tour. The only thing missing was the man cave and the man cave y'all don't need to see right now. So um, anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this full home tour. I hope you watch it in comparison with our empty house tour that we did and kind of just see how things have changed, how things have been decorated. Um, and don't forget to watch those little sub category videos where I talk about rooms specifically and individually if you're curious about decor or furniture or any of those kind of things. Again, I've been wanting to shoot this for so long, so I'm so happy to finally get it up for y'all. I hope it gives you some ideas maybe if you have a room that you're struggling with or I hope that it was entertaining if you like this kind of modern farmhouse decor style cottage whatever you want to call it I don't really even know if I want to label decor styles anymore because people feel pretty strongly about certain decor styles and themes and trends and things like that but this is our home and I love how it has been decorated I can't believe we've done as much as we have in the last two years so I'm very proud of it and I can't wait to see what other projects we come up with um, in the future and how we change things along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.